Hello my friends, today I've got uh, another camera to look at. Uh, if you've seen my earlier video, I did a Yashika J, Yashika J, as people have corrected me in the comments. Uh, and I have its older brother here, the Lynx 1000. Now I actually use this camera a lot. It's my daily driver and usually the one that I'll, I'll go to if I'm uh, out and about and using 35 that day. This is usually the one that I'll go to, however at the moment my focus is a little bit uh, messed up, so I need to adjust that, but I will do that. So going over some features of this one, it's got a uh, 4.5 centimeter uh, lens, uh, or, you know, 45 millimeters, if that's what you prefer. Uh, it's got a focus ring here that goes from 0 0.8 meters to 10 meters, uh, which is pretty wide range. You can get a really nice sharp focus on, uh, especially on portraits. Um, I, I really like it. For your aperture settings, you get from uh, 1.8 all the way up to f22, which is a fantastic range. Uh, and then for shutter speeds, you have uh, 1000, and then all the way down here to uh, one second, uh, and then a bulb mode, of course, if you're using a, uh, a timer. Uh, and they all work pretty well. Um, the timers on this particular camera below uh, 1 15th of a second tend to not work very well. Um, they kind of uh, open the shutter and kind of close it rapidly. It's, it's a little weird, but I think if this camera was to be cleaned, I think that would work. Uh, on the top of the camera here, you've got a uh, cold shoe. It has this cover on it, uh, but it's not a hot shoe, unfortunately. Uh, you do have this flash port at the bottom if you uh, were to hook up a flash. Uh, you've got your film advance lever, and then uh, you have your dial here, uh, which you can increment uh, and decrement however much you want. Uh, on the back, it's pretty easy. You've got your uh, rangefinder adjustment, your viewport, and then on the bottom, you've got your opening and your uh, rewind uh, button. Uh, on the bottom of the lens here, you do have a timer. Now, I haven't used this timer. I'm kind of scared of using timers on this uh, vintage of camera because they tend to gum up and it might ruin the, uh, the shutter, which I'm not uh, wanting to do because I, I like this camera quite a bit. Uh, when it comes to focusing, actually, one thing that I do like on this camera is that they have this nub, so when you're focusing on something, you can kind of use your fingers to uh, poke it around, which is really nice. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, now let me just rewind the film if there is any in here, uh, because like I said, this camera had some issues, uh, and it wasn't playing nicely. So let's open this up. To open the camera, you push this thing down and push it in, and then your film door will pop open. Open it up, and then you can see I've got my home wound film in there. We'll take that out. Uh, you've got your uh, rollers here, and then you hook your film in here. You put your film down there, and then it goes across. Uh, one thing that's uh, nice on this camera is these rails don't seem to catch, which I've had problems with on some other cameras, uh, but it's pretty good. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, pretty straightforward camera. Uh, comes with an ACA DIN table. I don't know if you need that. Probably not, especially because the highest it goes is 800, which is, uh, I mean, most people are, are going to be using ASA these days anyways. So um, anyhow, that is the uh, Yashica Lynx 1000. Uh, and uh, have a great day. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Thank you.